Well, howdy again, everybody. It's Memorial Day, Monday Memorial Day of 2019. And in the style of the videos that you're accustomed to, I'll start with the ending. We just finished the steam test on this Allen Mogul locomotive. You can see that it's not jacked up anymore. We've got it back in the, in the shop. Overall, it was a very successful test. There's a lot of little things that I need to uh, address. Right now, before any, I wait any longer, I'm going to get some air circulating through it. We've got the blowdowns open and all the, the stuff is open so it'll dry out. We just blew it down and debriefed a little bit with Chuck and Pete. Excuse me, Chuck and Fred were over here. And um, anyway, the interesting thing, number one, we fabricated, Fred, I say we, Fred fabricated this little J hook thing that we could hook up to my air compressor for and stick it in the, the smokestack here for creating a draft because I don't have a blower so that was an interesting thing the um, major it was successful overall we got up to 100 psi in half an hour 45 minutes with the the gas running a propane firing the safeties popped and they, <laughs> And they closed about 90 psi, so that was good. The only real issues there were some minor leaks, um, pretty normal for our first test. Uh, minor leaks on the rear manifold, even stuff that I didn't make had little leaks and sizzles and so forth. But both Fred and Chuck assured me that those were pretty normal. So, I, the several things I do need to address, you know, I built these snifters probably six or eight years ago I forget and there's little ball valves in there that close and those things were apparently stuck because there was a little steam coming out of that the cylinder cocks the little drains were not closing perfectly I need to fiddle with those a little you can see the good news is the cylinders were definitely getting oil you can see the steam cylinder oil on my fingers there um, probably the biggest thing that disturbs me we tried the both the axle pump and the injector and although there was no leaks here, which was a good thing, we didn't get any water circulated into the into the boiler. So we used the little fill device that I showed you before, and um, we had filled it up with water, and we just used that one tank full of water, if you will. Um, the injector, the steam supply to the injector, the injector start valve works fine. That's the part I was worried about, but I didn't have for the test. I should have thought about this. I didn't have a a way of metering the flow of water so I have something on the tender if it's hooked up to the tender so I need to either next time we do this have it hooked up to the tender so I can meter the water flow or or make a little inline valve to cut the water out um, as I said the the injector seemed to work but water was not going into the boiler so we suspect I bought these parts um, the boiler check valves from loco parts several years ago and they've just been sitting so it's it's possible that the balls are stuck in there so i need to take those apart check those basically this the short story long story short if you will everything that has a ball check valve probably needs to be taken apart and checked and make sure it's clean so that it will work then uh, we'll do another test maybe a test where i hook it up to the tender and run it that way but um, it was a beautiful day hot sunny and we had a nice shady spot we had it set out there right about where that cooler is parallel with the picnic table and uh, like i said it was a, a successful test so thanks for watching everybody and we'll just keep stay tuned for some further uh, videos to show the actual firing and running on steam and Pete, I'm sorry you couldn't make it today. My buddy Pete had to work. Uh, so this, this video is for you, Pete.